are you guys uh, very good 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 so just just so we're like very clear like what is the team name sr all that stuff just so we get that out of the air because i'm, I'm right. dumb as rocks so we are central michigan university and we are a mid-masters average with a range of individual SRs from low GM to diamond. Okay, sick. So collegiate, love it. I'm really enjoying coaching the collegiate teams I've been working with. And then, okay, so around mid-masters and stuff. Okay, so do you guys want to use a replay code? Because I know you sent me a video with comms, but it might be kind of tough juggling that. We can just do replay code, but it's up to you guys. Uh, yeah, we can. The replay code is probably best. Uh, Let's do that then. Yeah. I, yeah, I did send the comments video, but I, I wasn't able to separate the voices from like my the noise from my perspective. That's fine. That's fine. Just shoot just shoot the replay again just because I'm dumb as rocks. And so I've probably if I've, if you've given it to me, it's probably buried. So OK, um, one second. You do, won't mind doing that really quick. OK, I'm gonna get this pulled up. And I'll stream uh, through uh, your discord. So you guys won't have to like deal with stream delay or anything like that. Sounds good. <clears throat> OK, thank you. Get this set up. One moment. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. I mean, you guys obviously know. My name is Philo. Uh, we're going to try and make this educational and informative as much as we po possibly can. Um, the goal is to, like, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about communication at the start. I always like trying to talk about communication really quickly at the start. Um, we'll do that briefly. And then once we set the stage for what I expect, uh, we'll kind of see like what we'll see what compositions we'll talk compositions we'll talk execution now generally with team reviews with communication we spend a lot of time talking about communication but obviously we have replay code so we can't talk a lot about your communication but i will talk about what the importance baseline are so the number one important thing that uh that a team must execute on is you always must have a plan you always must have a plan without exception um why is that the case anybody we can answer that question for me Why is it crucial that a team always has to have a plan? So they always have plan some sort of just... direction to take. Yeah, exactly. You need to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you might as well be playing ranked. Because ultimately the goal is to get away from, oh, I think I know my role in the composition and we're just going to see what happens, to where it's not, it's, you're not leaving it up to chance. You have something that you're going to try and execute on, and then ultimately everybody at six is going to try and execute on that. Now that could be a plan that involves ultimate. It could be a plan involving the map. In other words, we're going to clear high ground at six, or it could be a plan of I'm going to flank and try and like, you know, dive the back line. It could be anything. It could be a stupid plan. There's bad plans. There's good plans. There's high risk, high reward plans, low risk, low reward plans. It doesn't matter. The point being is that there has to be a plan with no exceptions. Never at any point in time should you ever go into a fight without a plan. Now, one thing that a lot of people get baited into thinking is that every plan, the best teams are always proactive. Have you guys ever heard that before? It's always better to be proactive. Oh, we've heard that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of it. And, and I understand the logic behind it. It's like we're setting the tempo. You do things our way. It's like psychological. But you don't even need to be proactive all the time. You can be a very reactive team, but you need to be planning on being reactive. Describe to me a reactive plan. What would a reactive plan look like or sound like? Probably like they if we do. know they have grab dragon, we are, we'll hit like the lamp first, and then once the lamp goes down, we do B, and then we might want to engage after that with something else. Okay, sure, sure. What's another reactive plan? I would say like... Uh, Let's do one without ultimates. Let's do one without ultimates. How would that look? See, since since I'm a main tank, I would maybe say let their run get close to me, so then we wall him and then go. Sure, that's totally fine. Exactly. So you're kind of waiting for them to do something before you execute, right? So there's proactive plans, there's reactive plans. We're not going to go over the psychology of like which ones are better, which ones worse. You just need to have something. You need to have something. And there, and there's certain compositions that are better at being reactive, and some that are better at being proactive. Regardless of the case, you need a plan. So what we're going to look at here <clears throat> is we're going to look at your compositional execution. And we're gonna look at like how you guys are approaching team fights. And we're gonna probably gonna be able to tell on whether you had a plan or not. And you guys, from what you might remember or may not remember from this, is this a scrim? No, this is, this is a this is a game. Okay, so even better. So you guys will have a better idea of like whether we had a plan or not. We'll look at that. We'll look at how you're playing the composition in terms of how you're setting up your positioning, maybe some of your cooldown usage. And then we're also gonna look at timing. Now, last night I did a VOD review uh, with the dive team, and their timing uh, needed a lot of work. 
right? They had a general idea of what they were trying to do, but what was constantly happening is I see Winston was jumping in, Sombra's not in position, Backline's not in position, Echo's not in position, or Sombra's looking for a hack, but her tank line wasn't in position. And so those are things that we have to look at here. It's obviously more uh, obvious when those errors happen with Dive, but it uh, looks like you guys are gonna be playing Brawl here. Is that correct, the Ryan comp? Yeah, that's probably our favorite comp to run, I okay. think, overall. Okay, so that's something that the timing is just as important this way. It's less obvious when the timing is off, but it's still important. What would bad timing look like with a brawl composition? What would it look like? How would you know the timing is off? Bubbles too early or too late. Sure, bubbles. That's a big one. What Beating else? Beating too early or too late. What, what was it? Beating? Oh, speeding. Speeding, speeding. Yes. Okay, what else? Uh, let's see. Maybe like uh, nanoing when they're like too far away. Sure. Like our run. Yeah, exactly. What about yeah, May? If... Walling, too early. Walling too early. What about Cree? Where should Cree be positioned? If you guys. Ever... High ground. A high ground or. Maybe taking a, a flank, flank too early sure. before taking... everybody else is yeah, positioned. Yeah, 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 exactly. What about Ana? Besides the nano, something very important with Ana. Hitting nades on the enemy team? Yeah, when? <laughs> Uh, when they, when the uh, Ryan drops their shield or when they're pushing in. And when did they? Yeah, exactly. Right when they're when there's action going on. Like one of the my yeah. biggest pet peeves when I see honest fish for nades right before a fight starts. Like obviously mm -hmm. if you do it you know way before the fight starts you build some old charge no big deal. But like right yeah. before the fight starts that's when you need to sleep. That's when you need your nades. So obviously every single hero here has to pay attention to to, to when they're using their cooldowns, how they're using their cooldowns, positioning, and then ultimately at a grand macro plan. And so that's a lot of things to be thinking about. Now thankfully most teams aren't bad at everything, right? Otherwise, you guys would probably be a bronze team, not a mid-masters team. Um, so there's going to be a lot of good things here. There's going to be a lot of bad things. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and prioritize the things that are either the worst mistakes, this needs to be fixed, you're literally throwing a team fight, or the mistakes that aren't necessarily the worst, but they keep happening over and over again, right? It's like death by mosquito bites. You see what I'm saying? Where it needs to be addressed because it might not be bad to do it once, but it's bad to do it a dozen times. Does that make sense? Yes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. lovely. All right, so the one thing, um, last thing before we get started is a lot of the times when I, when I coach teams, um, they get a little insulted, um, hmm. not, not through my tone of voice. I don't know, I, I assume they get insulted, I, I, I'm just guessing, because I do talk, we talk mostly about basics. We're gonna talk some about compositional stuff, but we're gonna talk a lot about a basic, very easy, under, understandable concepts. But let me reassure you that these concepts are important no matter what tier you're in. If I were doing an Overwatch League review or uh, you know a tier two contenders review, most team fights are lost because of a basic fundamental that was screwed up and that needs to be fixed. So it's nothing to do with the fact that you guys aren't 4.6 gay. It's just to do the fact that you guys need to improve as a team. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Yep. Or, yep. Yep. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna roll. Okay, so tell me how this composition works. Like, let's see, let's let's go even one step further than that. How does this composition work in the mirror? Because that's what we're playing right now. What is the goal? I feel like first, like, we should be trying to farm nano as quick as possible. Okay, farming nano. So what over what does a neutral look like? In other words, what does a fight without ultimates look like? What like like walling off the run? We off need to Ryan? look. We need okay. to look to get the better wall, or okay. save me if I get walled. Okay. So you're looking to get a good wall. What else? A wall, a Ryan engage, an anti. an anti. What else? What is everybody's uh, job? Ryan engages with wall, right? An anti is looked for at the same time as you wall. What is Zarya trying to do? Bubble the Ryan or anyone sure. else who's in danger. Nail her bubbles, right? Bubble, wall, Ryan engage, anti. What about Lucio? What is Lucio's job? Waiting Make speed. sure. Yeah, make sure I'm either speeding us into them when we have an advantage or speeding us away if okay. they have an advantage. Exactly. What about McCree's job? McCree's job is very important. This is the one that everybody doesn't... For, everybody screws this for one. Either looking for or looking for flashes on the Rhine. Yeah, exactly. You've got two plays with McCree. Only two. You either are playing with your core for a really fast rush and blow up Rhine. That's the minority of situations or you are taking an angle or a flank. That's the majority of situations. And what, let me, let me put it this way. PVC, your entire team's engage win condition is literally just there to create space for you. That's all they're doing. This entire composition revolves around what you do. Now, that it doesn't seem like intuitive. It's like, what? We're gonna go wall the Ryan and kill the Ryan. But as you guys probably have figured out, especially against better teams, walling Ryan does not mean that that Reinhardt dies. Very, very rarely when you wall the Rhine, do you actually kill the Rhine. Now you might, 
if you have an ultimate or if that Reinhardt screws up or you guys just nail a really good combo, but very rarely does that happen. All that does is that creates threat and attention that has to be put on main while what happens on the side? Kree's flanking. Kree's flanking. Now it can be a good flank, it'd be a bad flank. It can get too split, right? Uh, he could be out in the open instead of near cover, especially if you guys, have you guys ever played up against a D.Va variant of this composition? Yeah, we actually do play the D.Va variant ourselves okay, too. Okay, perfect. So, so you guys understand too as well that D.Va can shut down if you get a little too split. But the entire composition is revolving around creating space and attention so that your Kree can kind of do what he wants. And in devolved fights, it's oftentimes not only your Kree on the angle, who else do you think could be also play a little on the angle? Maybe not on a hard flank, but who would... Benefit? Zarya? Sure, Zarya could also go there too. And, and even at a higher level, sometimes you'll even see Maze or Ana's occasionally swinging wide. But most of the time, it's going to be your Kree, occasionally your Zarya. Do you guys have any questions so far? No. Okay, so that's, that's all we're doing. That, that's literally it. You guys go in, you get a good wall, you look to engage with bubbles, maybe look for an anti. Uh, Lucio looks to either speed you guys in or speed you guys out, and Kree looks for a flank. And if all of those things are happening at a good time, at the same time, excuse me, and at a good time, we call that a good neutral. So when we add ultimates to the mix, you can change how you play the fight a little bit, but for the most part, it's just making that fight a little bit more dangerous. In other words, if you have an earth shatter, your neutral engage is a little scary because that Ryan messes up, he gets put in his back. When you have nano, your neutral engage gets a little scary because now you have a nano Ryan swinging in. That's a lot more threat that opens up more space for your Kree or directly leads to kills. If you have a beat, you survive their grab. If you have a grab, that again makes your neutral engage really strong. If you have a high noon, well now that angle is a lot scarier if it's supported. If you have a blizzard, again, the core is a lot more threat. And so you see kind of like every ultimate is a tool to make your neutral stronger or to stop their neutral from functioning. So. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the first team fight. We're gonna see exactly what goes wrong. Maybe it's a macro understanding, maybe it's a micro mistake, maybe it's, uh, you know, we don't understand, maybe our timing is wrong, and then we're gonna talk about it, all right? So let's see here. You guys in stream, you guys can see this, no problem? Yeah, yep. we're good. Yep, all right, good to me. let me yeah. uh, get the options fixed up here. I don't like 10, I like, there we go. All right, so let's, uh, let's check this out. Play a little slow at first. It's good that you guys are scouting. Don't want to get close wall. Looking for a wall. Okay, so. What do we like so far? <laughs> Huge big wall, big anti. Yeah, we walled them all off and anti them. Is our timing correct? Yeah. Yeah, looks good to me. You got a wall, you got an anti, and crucially, is your Rhine close? Yes. Yes, so wall, anti, well timed. Now we, we would like to see a bubble here and we'd like to see Cree flank. And the question is, is are we, should, what else, what else, what other factor are we considering? We need a speed. Yeah, speed into him. Why are we in heals? There it is. A little late though. There a little late. A little late, but that, that, that's what we want to see though. Okay, so let's see how, let's see how this neutral goes. Unfortunate. Now, the question is, why didn't this work? So let's watch this again in slow motion. We get the wall. May doubles back. You get a huge anti. Bubbles swing. Bubbles countered. They counter wall. Now, what does our Kree need to be doing right now? Killing the Kree. That's yeah, anti right there. Sh shooting people, okay? <laughs> shooting people. Now, where should our Kree position, do you think, if we're being nitpicky? Is our Kree perfectly positioned right now? No. No. Where's the Kree position? I think he could he could be a little bit closer to point, maybe. Maybe he could he could also be closer to the pillar. Oh, right? tell, yeah. Right Where here. Cover. Now, once you get here, you don't need to do anything other than press mouse one. Now, very rarely this early in a review do I go to a first person POV, but I'm very curious. What were you holding on to for? Uh, I think I was waiting the lamp out. Waiting the lamp out, okay. Yeah. So, here's the thing. Your job here is not to get kills. Your job here is literally just to apply pressure. 
Mm -hmm. you, what happened, like a kill, oh, let, me, let me try and phrase this for you guys. Kills or picks in Overwatch are the result of pressure. You pressure at the same time as your team and something dies. You guys don't even need to be on the same target for something to die. If you go in there in anti three, that's gonna force double bubble, maybe forces ice block and for them to all of a sudden panic. When they panic, you start to apply pressure on the angle. Now, once again, if you get a kill here, great. Nice job, everybody claps and you're, and you're super happy you went for his fight. If you don't get a kill here, you're still going to be clicking heads and shooting people, correct? And what's get, what's that going to force them to do? Use cooldowns. Use cooldowns. And what? Are, who are they going to be looking at? They'll look at the McCree instead of the They're team. They're going to look at the McCree. You're going to start shooting people. The bat turns around. The McCree turns around. And again, hopefully you're, you're played a little closer to a corner here. The Zarya turns around. And guess who they are not shooting at now? Me. Yeah, you, the Reinhardt. And now all this pressure that is on your Reinhardt is now on the McCree, who, by the way, is positioned to where they just simply cannot push him. And not only that, but we can look at this here and, and say, hey, maybe if he'd actually started to get the kill, maybe he kills the McCree before he even gets to the Lyon, right? So you're overthinking this a little bit. You are on an angle, your team is going in, you should start clicking heads. That's all there is to it. And as long as you're not literally in the middle of them, then you're totally fine with your position. You should hold the angle and put pressure out. Okay, so our speed's a little late. PVC needs to be actually putting pressure out. And what ha what happened to be a very early, aggressive, clean engage is now dead in the water because this is a 5v6. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because you guys had an advantage and now it's gone. It's completely gone. Should I have dropped on the other side of the ice wall? Because like, I was, I'm Zoya, right? So I, I got mm -hmm. walled up. And I popped my personal bubble, so it looks like I was going to try to drop and help, but then I got scared. Like, what should I have done? Uh, you're fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't, okay. I very rarely do I want you putting your body in the way of protecting your Reinhardt. Like, that just is not the play, <laughs> especially against a Mei. Like, you're talking about a hero that now has 50 extra armor, and it, there's just no reason. Like, any time where, you, oh, you're saving your Reinhardt's life, that's going to be like 1 out of 10 times, and the other 9 out of 10, you're going to die because you're in the middle of the Mei wall. There's a reason why Zarya's not as popular in this composition, is because she's a lot easier to rush. She's, she's good, she's not bad, but she's not quite as popular. Now, what you could have done here, well, you tell me, what could you have done here? Do you see the position directly to your right or our left? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You could have right click yeah. jumped up here and then you would have had the angle. And like all you need to do is the, mo the most help that your Reinhardt needs is all he needs you to do is to bowl him and murder the enemy team. That's your job. And if you murder the enemy team, he's not taking damage. Think of it this way. How does create, how does create, holy cow, how does Kree create space for your Reinhardt? How does Kree peel for your Reinhardt? By shooting at enemy. By players. murdering the enemy backline, exactly. So that they not only are they they're either dead or they turn in to shoot him, and they're not shooting your Reiner. You're the same way. If you can start putting pressure on these guys and force them to back off or kill them, then congratulations, you just peeled for your Reiner. <laughs> okay, it's the same way. Like in a lot of ways, like really the only peel you need to peel for your main tick is nailing that bubble, and that's it. Everything else is just, is just about you, 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 you. Your Reiner is just a, a punching dummy, so that everybody else can can do stuff for. Him. So right now I'm like, hey, I like the angle here. But it's too late. It's too late at this point in time. And the ante that we're, we were able to get value out of, it just didn't matter. Um, one other thing I will nitpick on this ante. What do you guys think is could be better with this ante? When do you think is the best time to look for an ante? Like, right as I'm swinging. Right as you're swinging? What else needs to be considered? I want the Ana player answering this question. Because I think the Ana player is probably going to make a better uh, answer. No offense. <coughs> Main tank bring. Um... <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you, what do you guys think? I think that anti probably could have been better, like you said, like when we're way closer. Okay, maybe could have been a little closer. That's not the only factor to consider, though. Okay. I didn't anti any of the supports. Okay. Can what? I answer it? Yeah, you can answer it. <laughs> Try it. You, you gotta wait for bubbles. Just Gen if they have bubbles. Generally, waiting for bubbles is the better time to use anti, yes. Okay generally because you're gonna force bubbles here now you do anti four i, I don't i don't no. I, I'm, this is a good anti i'm never going to nitpick this anti if you hit four and your team is close enough okay fine you force bubbles but whatever but i will say this in in future you see how two of those bubbles have been purged 
Yep. And they were going to bubble these anyway. You see what I'm saying? Like they, they this is when they want to bubble any anyway. It's not like, oh, we yeah. forced them to bubble. This is when they want to bubble, right? Um sure. so that's not great. However, if you can hit four, <laughs> hit four, please. You know, it's just gonna be yeah. a little bit better if you see an opportunity to like think about nade right now. This is a this yep. is a fight winning nade right here. It's gonna hit Ryan, probably... it's gonna hit Lucio, it's gonna hit uh BAP as well. And obviously Blamp is lamp, but if the lamp breaks, they're still anti. Yep. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So what what have we seen here in terms of like team white errors? Minor, but let's keep an eye on them. A little bit slow with Lucio speed. Our else? timing's a little bit off for a couple of different things. Yeah, timing's a little off with Lucio speed. Timing's a little off with your nade. Timing's a little off with your McCree flank. Like McCree is on the position and is, is waiting instead of just putting out pressure now. So those are some red flags. Um, we can go over like other micro details, but we'll, we'll see more as we go. And to be clear, like, I'm picking on a couple of you guys, but everyone's going to get picked on in their turn. And right there, PVC needs to understand that, like, okay, we're, I'm down my Ryan, so this is no longer where we're fighting. We are fighting in our spawn, so I go back to our spawn. Okay. One other thing before we continue. So you guys just did a quote-unquote normal neutral, right? You walled. You McCree flanked, you're on an aid, etc. right? Is that the only neutral that you can do? That's the normal neutral. But is that the only way you can take a fight without ultimates? No. What else could you do? Uh, we could have set up maybe like a flash on the shield if sure. we were all together. You can flash. What else can you do? Yep. I mean, we could just like... We could do a big um, rotation around the high ground, yeah. right we, side. We, we, you yeah. could have may walled down like a different area and just walked on the point. Sure, you could. There's a lot of different things. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about things from a neutral perspective. But I, you guys are more than welcome to be flexible and to try different things. So just as long as everyone's committed to it at the same time. Does that make sense? Okay. So fire strike. Fine. We don't really have any ultimates here. Yeah. So so what what's missing? Well, okay. But, yeah. What's missing here? What's the what's the danger here? Our Ryan's walled off. Okay. What's the problem with your Ryan being walled off right now? Because their Ryan's kind of walled too. What's the difference between the situations? Let me turn on spectate overlay to kind of streamline my demonstration. <laughs> Do you see We're a problem? He's, behind the wall? he's like walled off with his team a little bit. Though. Right. Right. He's walled off with his team, and most importantly, they still have angles outside of the wall. Like, look at May's positioning here. Look at Kree's positioning here. Do you see how, like, how, like what the heck is your Ryan supposed to do? I mean, look at Zarya's positioning as well. What the heck are they supposed to do against this? Like, what can Pryon do? He's done. It's over. Uninstalled. Never play the game again. Whereas we're here. Now, I would argue, I would argue and argue and argue that I don't, I never ever want my Reinhardt pushing through a choke like this. Ever. This is the not the choke. There's a reason why people generally double back this way is because you have the op option of angling this way and this one is a little sketch. This is just running it down main. There's also a reason why teams go for rotations on high ground to avoid the wall entirely without getting people on high ground. So yeah, we can nitpick that. But if we, if Brian's gonna feed his brains out here, okay, what are, <laughs> what are we gonna do to make this work? Like, what is missing right now from our field division? What what's wrong with our setup right now? Nobody on the team is flanking. Where's my McCree? Right? Where's my Lucio on the wall? Again, it's, I'm picking on Kree, but it's not just Kree. Like, where's my Lucio up on the statue here? Set up to, you know, deny, to boop the Zarya down or to boop them back, right? Uh, this is not good. You see what I'm saying? There's a re this is a kind of another reason why teams play D.Va. Um, but do you see the issue here? So what yeah. can what can we do about this? What can we? How can we prevent this from even getting... Because obviously we'll, we'll play the rest of the fight momentarily, but I don't even want... I'm going to stop right here. This is bad. This cannot happen. Not once. Not ever. Right? Where Prian says, oh, I'm just going to go. And all of a sudden he's completely ISO'd and we're all stacked to six. So what are we going to do to prevent this from happening again with Brawl? What can we do? Not just in this map. Just ever. I don't think but, uh, we had a plan here. We can just all try to play on top of each other a little bit more. So if he gets walled off, it's going to be walled off with like, you know, his Zoe and May. That could, that could work. What's the risk of that? What's the risk of stacking in six? Getting blown up. Yeah. Yeah. Getting anti and yeah. giving their guy a lot right. of value. Because you're, you're right. You're like, oh yeah, if we had our, if you had your Ana in here and Zarya and May and Lucio and Crete all stacked here, you they, they would wall nobody, right? There'd be nobody behind the wall. But that's not exactly good, is it? <laughs> What's that Reinhardt going to do with his bubble hammer swing? 
He's going to get shattered. All he's going get to get all the value. He's going to hit all of you. The Zarya is going to hit <laughs> all of you. The May is going to be freezing all of you. The McCree doesn't even have to aim. He just aims at the general red clump and you're all dead. So a lot of teams, like sometimes stacking a six, if you have to go to like a really nasty choke where you can't set up angles is okay. But generally that's not the play. So again, I asked the question, what do we do? How do we prevent this from happening? Because you said we didn't really have a plan. Okay, then what's the plan here? If Prime's going to engage like this, what do we need? Like someone on the flank. Okay, so and like Lucio got to do speed boost him out, maybe. So the question is, did we know that Prime? Did we know that we were looking for a wall ahead here? Did we know that Prime was going to go push in like this? No. Okay. No, I don't think we did. Okay, why? Mm -hmm. How are we going to fix that? Communication. Better communication. Better See, communication. I think if I remember correctly, I was frustrated that we lost that fight with the four man anti and decided to go main, which is bad. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do better in the future? So we've, we've addressed the problem, but I, we need to figure out a solution. Now, to be clear, I'm not going to give you anything in regards to the solution. You guys have to figure this out because I'm gone in one hour and you may or may not talk to me ever again in team voice chat. So you guys are going to have to figure out how to solve these kind of issues on your own. So how are you going to fix it? We don't push down this choke of King's Row. We go to the other choke. Or go to the yeah. other okay. okay, so congratulations. You've solved one team fight with one composition. That's right. not good enough. What, what about the rest of the chokes in the rest of this map where this might potentially be an issue? How are you tell gonna Connor to tell us what he's going to do before he does it. Okay. And, and we can tell him if he's being an idiot or not. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> specifically what? what he's, where he's pushing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to know that. Why do we need to know that? So that what? So that so we can have a flank. Right. Feed. So you can set yeah. up. Exactly. So you can set yeah. up. So you can set up it now. How fast should this communication be? Should this be a 10 Very second? Fast. Exactly. This should not be a 10, 15 second hour long discourse. This should be okay. I'm going to, I'm pushing left here. I'm going to push left three, two, one push like right there. And we look for a wall. We look for a bubble. And if PVC isn't flanking and ribs, I'm probably butchering your names, but isn't on the high ground, then that's their fault. That's not Brian's fault. But right now, is it their fault that they're not on the angle right now? No. If I, I mean, I thought you guys were rotating through hotel. Right, and, yeah. and which makes perfect sense for PVC to be here and for Rivs not to be in the wall. You see how you see how like it's impossible for these two guys, not to mention the rest of your team, to position properly because of a communicational error. You see that? So we just humiliated this guy and this guy for being for being goofballs the previous fight and throwing the team fight, <laughs> and now this guy's throwing the team fight because these guys are mispositioned, but it's not their fault. So what are we going to fix? We're going to communicate and we're not going to throw. Well, <laughs> we're, we're going to have talk. a communicate we're what? We need to what? Yeah, have we, a plan on where we're going. We need a plan. Like, like where we're going to like fucking yeah, walk you, and right, I think like, where where that's the big when one. When we when we talk about like where we're going, where I'm pushing, we need to be more active about deciding like I'm going there, but where does that mean everybody else goes at mm -hmm. the same time? Well, that's the thing, though, is that that's that's where, like, you have to be very careful not to micromanage because you guys in this voice channel now kind of know your general role here. Like, May can kind of play closer to Ryan. Zarya can split off a little bit if she gets a chance. Ana needs to try and maintain LOS. Kree does look for flanks generally. Lucy needs to be playing off the floor. Okay, so you guys know your role, okay? So if you scuff this up, it's nobody's fault but you're on, okay? And your team is like has a full right to flame you, um, you know, and, and drive to your house and hit you over the head with a hammer, okay? Um however Damn. if this is a result of okay we, we knew our positioning but we didn't even get a chance to set it up that's the error this the positioning is not the problem it's the fact that you weren't even able to apply what you know because of a communicational error and that needs to go away does that make sense yes okay sounds good so we can look at this and say like this fight's probably not going to go well and I, there's nothing else to read here. I, there's no, I'm not going to talk cooldowns or flanks or because it, it just doesn't matter. It just, like, there's no point talking about anything until it's actually set up properly. All right. I think we need to better communicate that too, because I broke the wall, Tanu, but you kept on going right. So you might have been able to get out. Sure, sure. That's something to communicate as well. If you guys, because this stuff, you know, it happens. Like, I'm, I'm flaming you guys, but like, what if they just like, they surprise you and they rush you here? You know, that then, then yeah, you're scuffed, but that's when you need to call the brick wall. So sometimes bad things happen, even to the best of teams, in which case, sure, calling things like breaking wall is totally fine. Fan the hammer and a couple of mace, like, it's, it, it should be broken in, in a second or less. <clears throat> Yeah, so what's the plan here? Do you guys remember? Or, or I don't we, don't remember. we go, we go hotel, hotel. Maybe. Okay. 
Okay, you're gonna go hotel. Now, what, what should be the plan? So you've given me in a rotation. You're gonna go hotel, and then what's gonna happen? We're gonna I think we're gonna nano speed. Okay, yep. nano speed, and then obviously you yeah, set up like a Korean go wall. Now, this is where I'm gonna coach your micro a little bit, okay? Or not your micro, your macro. I'm gonna coach your strategy. You're not gonna coach your timing and your communication. What is my problem with really the last three team fights? What does our pathing look like? Really sloppy. And weak. sloppy, sloppy. Okay, it's not even in terms of you guys got split and you guys. Did, no, it's been mostly okay. It's been mostly okay, but I don't like how we're pathing. Okay, it's like your 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 form of a punch is perfect, but it's like the world's worst punch. Okay, uh, it, it's so right now. What would be a better option for? Okay, so because these guys have the map control, right? They have the angles, they have a perfect wall set up. Maybe they have a Cree flank. Maybe uh, the Zarya's on high ground, the Lucy's on high ground. It's a, it is, it's a disaster, right? <laughs> so like, how can you how can you rotate and play around that on the on this particular point? Where can you rotate to? We can go high ground. Yeah, you yeah, guys go your right side. Exactly. We talked about it a little bit earlier, but absolutely go up through here, wall here if you, if you're really scared, and just go all the way up all the way up you can amp speed jump across if you mess it up it doesn't matter again wall yourself in go all the way up top and then what is all this like oh my gosh i'm losing myself okay what does all this all this accomplish like once you're like here what do you do now we get, we get to jump down on the point you, you yeah. have high ground you have high ground for who and our mccree gets to sit there like Zarya and McCree, man, yes. a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. anna kree maybe your Zarya, like once she's charged you know and you can deep in here like and your lucio has a wall to work with and again there's no may walls Right now, because you're thinking, okay, well, we we can maywall them in chokes, yeah, but it's more likely that you're going to get maywalled. More likely that you're going to get punished on these chokes. So doing this rotation, yeah, it means that your may gets a slightly worse wall, but their may gets a significantly worse wall. Their angles are, and not to mention, they have to react. You are the ones acting. They have to react to you and hopefully set up. Their setup might be bad. They might give you a point. Their Kree might be get stuck behind, and you guys can go fish them out and kill them. They might scuff it up. And once you're here. Now they're all back here, and you can set up your angles, and then there's no may wall, and you got it's just it's just it's brilliant. You guys see that? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And that should be your mindset. Not again. Is this is this a point specific feedback? No. No. If you guys are stuck at this choke here, don't just forehead through. Path high ground. Set your Cree on on high ground, and and you know you can double back main and have your on look for a nade, or your Cree looks for a, for a flank, or you can uh, you know bubble high noon from up here, or you know if you're if you guys are at this point in time and you're trying to take in through this choke, don't just forehead through main. You could go here, clear high ground, set up your Cree on a go, you know, and then double back this way, or you can do a fake rotate here, like rotate a six here, then double back and come this way and explode. But don't just if they know where you're coming from, don't make it easy for them. That's the goal. It doesn't even have to be complicated. You don't have to study maps for hours and hours. I think the best splits just just play, just just make it awkward and uncomfortable because right now you're you're this, this doesn't look very promising. Oh, you do catch him. Maybe you catch him. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Um, so yeah, we we definitely should have tightened this rotation up a little bit. Um, let me look. You at, barely like, got close by that. That that's super super unfortunate. So really quick, if you guys are gonna do rotations like this, you guys are gonna need to be like legit hard stacked. This is a no go, absolute no go. So is, is this you guys call rotations? I'm sure three, two, one, rotate. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did. did. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in which case, Anna, you need if you're gonna rotate a six, you need to be like all the way in here. Otherwise, it's not okay. gonna work. All the yeah. way in there. So I'm not a fan of you know this whole strat, but okay, that'll do. All right. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we win a lot of fights where uh, Prion <laughs> just MTDs the hell out of the other okay. guy. Let's, let's just clean up. I just, I just want, I just want to enjoy this. Okay, like you guys, you guys didn't deserve this at all. Shame on you. Screw you guys. Guys, the worst team in the entire history of the world. But uh, I just want to enjoy this. Let's just enjoy. Oh, that's just brilliant. That's just absolutely. Yeah, that's brilliant. disgusting. That's just no, this. Shit. You got two. Yeah, five. I didn't know that was six, Connor. At the time, I thought it was like five. Wait, was it, was it actually six? Yeah, that I was think six. I, was yeah, that was six. It was literally all of them. Oh, God, that's so oh disgusting. My God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought it was like four. That's Good awesome. Good gosh, man, you caught the Lucio sitting on the ground. I mean, okay, can, can we actually? You know, what? we can use this as a learning moment, okay? Not, not to, not to compliment you guys, but to make fun of the enemy team. <laughs> what does the enemy team? Okay, Im image is taken before directly before disaster. <laughs> What's wrong with the enemy team setup right now? Do you see it?
they're all they're all together. Look yeah, they're doing the same them. thing we were doing, like, like first fight. Exactly. I'm imagining like they're Ryan calling right now. Like they're down there on a just push into them. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Together. Yeah. 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 This is the danger of just yeah. pressing W down main. You end up stacking and you give the enemy team the opportunity to clutch. Like the best thing for them to do here is Reinhold's corner and unironically send like Lucio Cree and start peeking in here and poking here. And the, you guys would have just been a misery because every little chip damage that that Cree puts in, even if he doesn't get any kills, it's just over. Um, but yeah, this is this is tremendous. And uh, they give up their entire map and they lose. This is one nice thing about rotations. Like I don't particularly like this rotation and it was obviously sloppily executed as well. But you see how like as you guys rotated, they tended to funnel. They weren't able to keep their flanks up, right? The same thing applies with a good rotation, except you're, you're even safer while you're doing it and you do it to a better position. Because what you see how they all kind of stacked here. If you guys rotated through high ground here, they probably would have stacked here like this way. You guys can just kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got to update my exclamation for VOD command. Um, give me one second. Give me the title of your university again. Central Michigan University. Master Central, Master Central Michigan. Oh, that's funny. We actually got like crushed by Rutgers in Tespa last year. I mean, to be fair, their SR is a little higher, so <laughs> it happens. Unlike Stylos, it says SR matters a little bit. Uh, okay, so um, we're going to push up a little here. I actually like, uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of, of the, the Lucio being on cart here. I think Lucio is generally the one that should be pushing up given these circumstances. Why do you guys think that is? Full speed. Yeah, I can like speed us down if they're down people or back if they're yeah, like mounting exactly. defensive. So who do you think are the two people that should be sitting on cart? Or one person? Which there's one of two people. Anna, 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 Anna or, agree, or, or or this one. This one will blow your minds. <laughs> Zarya? No, <laughs> you want Zarya Ryan? to build charge. Ryan. Sometimes you actually it's okay to have Ryan on cart. Um, Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like it, the point being is, if you're pushing staggers, you don't need a shield. Right, you don't need a shield, and the Ana's gonna have some sort of ranged pressure, right? The range plus range support, so you don't need the shield as much. Now, in this circumstance here, <laughs> you're not chasing staggers, <laughs> right? This all is a full, here. this is a full team here, so in, yeah. uh, in, uh, it doesn't really matter who you have in cart right now because you guys are kiting mm -hmm. anyway. But if you are legitimately just chasing staggers, put your Reiner on on cart uh, and have your Lucio speed. So anybody with range or poke needs to be pushing forward. Um, mm -hmm. And then everybody else can just kind of sit on cart. So this is this is just an example to talk about. It. This example is you know whatever. Okay, I don't know what they're doing, but what's the mistake they're making right here? Like horrendous error that they're making. They're coming through the choke instead of letting us yeah. come through the choke. They're coming through the choke exactly. And and you guys don't have any angles set up really, but neither do they. Whereas if you guys had to go through the choke, you would have to go through the choke number one. But that you know the Ryan's here, the Zarya's here, the Kree's over here. There might be a May hiding in here. It's just it's just awful. It's absolutely mm -hmm. awful trying to push into this. And instead, they're just gonna give it to you. And that Ryan's got to be tilted. <laughs> like, like this has to be Ryan is boomed that he got tilt like uh, smashed last fight. So <laughs> like there's no other way to say it. So this is fine. Like honestly, like these guys should just on honestly lose this fight so my one nitpick with this um it's not so much of a nitpick as it is an egregious error <laughs> what what's the issue here <laughs> both support ults to save Ryan. yeah both, both support ults to save your Ryan. exactly you want to stagger these boys you'll beat the beat the grab because he's not going anywhere anyway yep. and then nano mm -hmm. afterwards to continue to pursue because even even if you like let's say you guys wanted to go aggressive with beat don't go aggressive with beat nano. Go aggressive with beat. Wait till beat expires, then then use your nano. Because right now, like the, the beat allows you guys to go in, correct? So you don't yeah. need the nano as well. The nano might get you kills faster, but it's better to stagger the benefits. So hopefully you guys are able to break this choke. Oh no. Chaos. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the fire strike. The best part is we somehow win this fight. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, the, I have to. I have to. Let me put very clearly. They have lost this fight already. Yep. Like they've already lost this fight. Like it, it's it's a uh, you know nothing they're going to do unless I don't know if they one of them clutches. It, they're not going to win this fight. Like not even not even with this blizzard. It's not going to happen. It, as long as you guys match, you, as long as this blizzard goes off, and it does, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm not particularly happy with what happens here in terms of like our execution, because we can look at this here. 
and see how some of us are backing off and some of us are pushing up like when we push in here we need to be like quicker to pull in the draw regardless what ha of what happens you have to understand that chaos favors you guys right now why does chaos favor you guys close response close response that's it right close response you guys don't have to worry about joke like even right now right now you guys have won this fight your, your, your Ryan might die. You guys might lose another person, but their their Ryan is dead, and that's it. They're, you're not gonna be able to hold this joke, so it's over. Like that's that's unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. It's over. I just don't I just don't like this. Like why? Like, no, just just wait, just wait. Like you guys have won this fight. Just don't 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 feed that old charge to them, because like your Ana's like, oh, that's so much old charge that you just fed them. Oh no. But yeah, honestly, you guys didn't even need to grab, but I won't nitpick. It is what it is. Good job. You break the choke. More of a mistake. Yeah, I wasn't you. sure because we lost our Reinhardt, so that's that's fine. It's kidding. fine. It, it's it's totally fine because the, the the idea is that like okay, you're not sure. Better just win the fight. You know, better to just win the fight because you know who knows next fight. Okay, we we would like to have grab here, but I would more more than anything I like to win the fight. That's that's the goal. Okay, now you guys win the fight. Superior spawns. Really not a lot to say here outside. They just scuffed it up hard, and you guys took advantage of it. Nice job. What is making me mauled right now? We're stacked with each other again. Why are I'm you not at the corner yet? Why are you stacked? Well, you're not at the corner yet, but also, why are you stacked? Is there any real benefit to as an Ana playing up inside your Reinhardt? No, oh, really, probably only if they're playing dive and they're not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe you could nade them What's like the, faster. What, what, but... I want you guys to name ten different things that could happen to this Ana off of this positioning. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not joking. What are 10 things that could happen? Cree headshot, May headshot. Uh, now why, now they, it, it could happen anywhere. Those, but why, why are those two things particularly more dangerous here? Are they aiming, are they aiming at your Ana? <laughs> no. No, they're aiming for your Ana. They're aiming for the red blob. <laughs> they're aiming like, for the red blob. Yeah, and it's if still, I fire strike right now. Yeah, it's, it's over, right? Enemy fire strike, Cree headshot, I May headshot, Zarya right click, Earth shatter. Now, obviously, you know that they don't have ultimates here. May Wall, Lucio Boop, uh, High Noon, Blizzard, Grab, Shatter. We already talked about those. Window. Again, you don't, obviously, you're, I'm assuming you guys don't know that they don't have those ultimates, but just for the sake of discussion. Um, uh -huh. You know, Ryan Pin, Ryan Swing. Uh, like, there's so, so, so many things that can go wrong here. So, where would you play it to avoid those things or reduce the chance of them happening and to have better LOS in the fight. Because another thing here too is it's not just about like what they can do to you, it's about what you cannot do to them. You can sometimes run inside your Reinhardt and nade them, but more often than not, you're gonna get a better nade from high ground or an angle. So where would you go here? I could either, I could play on the stairs back here. Mm -hmm. The stairs right down also, here. Yep. Yeah, I could also play on the high ground with my McCree. Sure, yep, absolutely. Now, the high ground with McCree is a little awkward because you do want to keep safe LOS under your Rhine without having to peek through yeah. DPS. Yep. What can you do with May wall here? Oh, you could get me up on this uh, side yeah, ground on the top right. Oh yeah, you got you made. Yeah, absolutely. You guys could have may walled up here like five, six seconds ago and just had your on a crouch right here. Bingo! They walk through there, massive nade. You uh, can nade, heal yeah. your team, and it's so hard for them to see you. And even if they do see you, you just drop and you go play stairs or you play corner. Easy yep. peasy. Yep. And the may wall again. Their may wall doesn't do squat. Um, outside of that, I think I would have also liked to have my Zarya on high ground with my McCree. Better angle for right clicks. Um, assuming you're charged. You don't really need your personal. Okay, so you're not charged. So maybe it's a little bit more understandable for you to play here. But definitely at least your Ana needs to be up there. Um, your Zarya can play up here. You could have your Lucio up here to prevent them from trying to boop you down. Like there's just so many different ways of doing this. And I encourage you guys to experiment with this, especially in the mirrors. Uh, I okay. scuffed up my VOD command. Hold on. Holy cow, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, I did the title scuffed and then I changed up this. Okay. Um... That's stuff we could easily do. We just usually forehead, like after we win fights, we're like, oh, to the next fight, and don't think about doing stuff like that. Yes. Okay. All right. So yeah, you can kind of see here, like the main wall is scuffed. That's unfortunate. No, actually, no, no. I'm not gonna give that a pass. Like, what? Okay, what happened here? <laughs> like, like what, what? What exactly happened here? Was this just? Oh, okay. Oh, the Ryan just walked over. Okay. Never mind. That happens. Like. At first, I thought we just like threw a may wall because we thought we'd cap, and I was I was gonna I was gonna get tilted. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah, like mechanical misplays happen. Like you just we don't care about that, you know. Um, okay, I like this. What's good about this? 
we have a lot of angles right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah some can you good imagine? Can, and and, and uh, you don't have to take like you don't have to like just parrot what I say about angles are good. Ask yeah. Prion. Prion, if you were chuckle here, how would this feel walking through this joke? Oh man, there's a May freezing me from the right. There's two bubbles in my <laughs> face, and there's a chance that a Cree is gonna come on top of me and flash me. Right. It's just misery. It's absolute misery. And the worst part about it is, is it's not really easy for you to clear out and push this guy or, or push this guy. You really can't. Um, I sometimes will recommend teams to even like speed their Zarya to high ground just to clear out the DPS here, but that's really the only thing they can do about it. This is miserable. You guys should win this fight without even using an ultimate. Assuming the Maywall screw up doesn't cost you too much. Oh no, that's a bad Maywall for them. Oh no. Okay, so do you, do you see the problem with this? With, with what happens here? We kited with Nano. <laughs> yeah, we had Nano and we were like holding ass. So you kited, but not only did you kite, do you see your positioning here? Yeah, we're we back on top. Yeah, we're you back stacked. on the blob. You, you guys are like, let's press W, and you're like, okay, we're on the side of the wall. Okay, I understand why you did this. I'm not going to flame you for doing it. I understand. You're like, you're trying to get around the May wall. But it gets worse. You stay there, and then what happens to your McCree? He jumps off. He high drops ground. off of high ground. He jumped off. He drops off of high ground, and now, and now, why is this a problem now? What does this give them opportunity to do? They can take the high ground if they want. I mean, they can take the high ground. Shatter. But, 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 but six man shatter, right? It basically, it's like, hey, we were putting out a lot of pressure and a lot of damage here, and now we're not anymore. You're welcome, mm -hmm. because now your McCree is just significantly less dangerous. Your maze is a lot less annoying. Now, I hope you guys still win this but honestly with with the high noon and shower on the field i'm not so sure anymore so okay so the ryan just has no shield he just ends up blading him back but like i mean honestly like what the heck is this high noon supposed to accomplish like you see uh, nothing i mean if i would have stayed on the high ground yeah uh, my, my my anna couldn't see me so i would have died that's why i jumped down that's true that's and true. then now i just have like no angle exactly i'm exactly. just in a bad spot exactly so we're not here to just flame pvc i see a, a symptom right and we need to find out the disease pvc needs to be staying alive you guys need to keep him up here so who can who yep. can help pvc maintain high ground up here and anna really? anna obviously not stacking that was bad but what what else what else could you do Riv Lucy or Zarya yeah. could be up there with them. Yeah, yeah. Have, have Riv set up here. Just AFK Mouse One, two, Mouse One, Mouse One, and you can get your full team Aura. You can look for, a, you can speed in here and look for a boop. You know, if they get a little too aggressive, there's a lot. There's, I mean, there's not. It's not like you're doing anything sitting on main. You know, like, like, is this a yeah? Great, that makes a lot of sense. It does, you're not doing anything. So like, in in P PVC wouldn't have had to draw. I could have bubbled you high noon. Exactly. High exactly. There's a lot. I, of, I could have called all these things out too. We could have. Right. Like come up with a game plan, plan right. before, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So there's yeah, that's a, the biggest thing is have a plan. Right, exactly. Have a plan and then we're talk and then we talk about execution. So that, again, you guys are already right now in this review. I'm 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 posing a problem and you guys are diagnosing it and giving great solutions. Nothing that you guys have said so far in this review, um it really has, has been bad advice for yourself. So you guys are smart, you're intelligent, you can diagnose these problems on your own. The goal is for you to know exactly what to look for and then to actually and i'm encouraging you to go out and do it so everything that you guys said here about like lucio high ground and azari high ground you can bubble high noon you guys could push it like sure great go for it have fun that'll work just fine you don't need anybody to hold your hand you just need somebody to like get, kick you in the rump and then you guys are absolutely nailing it <sighs> okay um what's the plan here what should be the plan here right now i'm thinking we have a lot of free space to push cart mm -hmm. yeah we should like and hold I, that corner that I'm at. Just kind of want to be on the corner until sure. the cart gets there. Sure, sure. Where's your angle from here, from this corner, from the, where the Zarya Rhino? Oh jeez. <gasps> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, teaching opportunity missed. Shadow cut the game. Did you just lose like 250 health? Uh, Boom. No, yeah, kind of. Wrecked. <laughs> Absolutely demolished. Okay, let's just say that, let's just pretend that that didn't happen, okay? What what, are, what, 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 sh what what could have happened here? What should have happened in terms of we fight here? We could have grabbed Dragon. I mean, not grabbed Dragon, grabbed Mail, sorry. That would, have been, mail that would have been very difficult. Yeah, we could have grabbed yeah, Mail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, in terms of positioning, what would we have liked to have seen? We could have I'll put look at McCree on a high ground somewhere. the high ground with the wall, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, I think you need payload to be a little closer to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can do it off of payload, but that's that's a little unrealistic. Okay. So not not you okay. can make sure you can't get high ground. Okay. So where do you position then? 
I mean, if we would have like sped, right. he could have gotten on the right little high ground. Maybe right this there. this is a gr this is literally the most important part of this map on third point. Yeah. Third my grade. only yeah. my only disclaimer is that given the payload's positioning here, this isn't this might not be relevant just yet. Uh -huh. I would you're gonna need to push the cart to like here before this starts to become a serious concern. But yeah, you like you it, like I mean. Yeah, this, this probably would have worked. Like, you could have probably gotten up here with your Zarya Kree and Lusu, and this would have been fine. Um, mm -hmm. You could have also played from in here, too. Like, had your mate or Kree in here. Um, where would my Lusu... Where should my Lusu be right now? Think about this. Think about what you learned the last time I asked this question at the end of last point. Where should your Lusu be? I should probably be up on, like, that box area up there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Why? Because I can still give them aura, and then I can still boop anyone off so they don't have high ground on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prevent their loose here from taking high ground. Um, you can put some spam on the back line. You have good aura. You can look for, you know, like the goal is that you're here so that you can be anywhere else in the map. If you're here, it's difficult for you to be all over the map. That's the goal of loose to position yourself where you can quickly get to anywhere on the map at any point in time. Okay, so yeah, we could have we could have potentially gotten some of our core up here. That would have worked fine. But uh, yeah, we need to get up. Do you, do, do you see how like they've actually given you an opportunity to clutch? Yeah. Yeah. So like you, yeah. you, you guys probably aren't going to win this. That you're probably going to kill the run because they're they're probably going to kill you guys. But even though you're done one, you still have an opportunity to get like a pick or two because do you see how they, you guys deepen an angle. You like kite it out and split and almost baited them. You see, I'm telling you, man, this this stuff works. So uh, I, I'm a fan. Oh wow, you actually survive. Oh, you don't. All right, I got baited. I got baited. They were gonna, they were gonna chase me. It is what it is. Whatever. Uh, do I keep my energy here? No. no. God, I suck. I suck, dude. I could have easily got by this bomb. <laughs> yes, you could have. Oh gosh, that's unfortunate. I think we all assumed that our Ryan was gonna be alive, so we just trickled out of spawn and got clapped. All right. So, so uh, yeah. We also have no idea their May is right there. Wait, yeah. I think I, I think I catch the May here, and I can't remember what happens after. Okay. Well, this is gonna be fun. Um, yeah. This is like this old uh, 1960s Batman TV shows, you know, like in like the bat Batman, he's stuck in like that death chamber and it's like he, the, the blade is slowly dropping on his neck and then, and then it ends, you know, it's like, what's going to happen next? You know, I wonder, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, nope. <laughs> what on earth is this abomination? Okay, first off, Wait, how's there... somehow there your ash gets out. Like, I don't even know how your ash... Look at this. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't normally want to pick on anybody at all, but this is, this is pretty funny. This guy is a uh, this guy's a 4.4 DPS by the way. There, McCree. Really? Okay. Well, just uh, had a bad day. He uh, didn't have his uh, his uh, I don't know what is what is the uh, Adderall? Is that what the joke Adderall? Is? Yeah, Adderall. Yeah, Adderall. <laughs> yeah, Adderall. <laughs> well, he didn't have his, didn't have his, didn't have his Well, that sucks, man. It happens. He needed his pre-workout. Um. So like, yeah. We, 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 like you guys essentially just bait them. Like they they get they commit here. They get a nice thing, but then, but do you notice how like you guys clutch this? Do you see your positioning here? Like, I don't yeah. recommend this position, <laughs> but <laughs> this is they're like they are now in your trap almost. Like they are all like you have a split all over the map. The Ryan's pressing here, your Ash is pressing here, your May's pressing here. The Zarya's in their back line. Like what? And look what your Zarya does. She just murders everybody, right? So I mean, you take it. I mean, and, and everyone uses every single. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Yeah. I really like the Ash pick, by the way. I really do. Um, I don't know if this is something I'd recommend to a top, top GM, but for you guys, it's what, okay, what, first off, why the Ash? Let's let's make sure there's a logic behind this. Why the Ash? PVC plays a lot of Ash, and it's a lot easier to flank with her, I feel. So hero strings, I actually completely disagree. I think you need to add more clarification for when is it easier to flank with Ash and where is it easier to flank with Ash. PVC, why don't you tell me? I, I think I was... Wait, what was the question again? Sorry. <laughs> Why uh, Ash over Cree? Why Ash over Cree here? Uh, the high ground on third point. Yeah, I mean, there you go. I was thinking. There you go. That's it. Yeah, high Good ground. Control of that. High ground and long sight lines. It, map like can, can like playing Ash here would be a lot harder. Uh, but mm -hmm. playing Ash here, oh my gosh! Like look at the space you're gonna get here. Now this is gonna make your guys' job a lot easier because you don't have to worry as much about like okay, like setting people. Like your your Ash just goes up here. You put Ash loose, like Ash up here, maybe with a Lucio. Or in then like a Zarya in here and it's just over. They're not going to win. 
So Ash is just phenomenal. Ash is great here. I really like the Ash pick. <clears throat> I mean, this is it. Okay. Now, what do I? What would I like in terms of the rest of the team to position pretty quickly here? Uh, we should probably catch up to our iron host so he doesn't get walled and die. Okay. Well, I, I actually disagree. I think I think I think it's the opposite. I think it's the opposite here. I think your Reinhardt's feeding. <laughs> oh, so he just needs to come back to cart? Yeah, he needs to come back to cart. Because where would you guys like to set up your ingles? Let me zoom out right here. Where would you guys like to set up? By cart. Maybe Lucio Ash on top right there. Maybe here. Be kind of aggressive, but yeah, sure. Either I that think, or top left. I think right now I'm asking for nano. Okay. But the problem is with this nano is unless you legitimately just hit the craziest pin of your life, you're not going to do anything with it. Why? Yeah. <clears throat> Look at you. Because uh, he's the only one doing damage. Yeah, he's the only I'm one doing damage. Flashed. Now, you could nano here, but this nano would only work if you had an Ash and Lucio already in high ground and a Zarya right here. You see what I'm saying? If you're going, going aggressive, go, let, me, let me clarify. Playing angles is not always playing slow. Playing angles is playing Overwatch. If you want to play fast, you want a pincer. If you want to, if you want to dive as Reinhard, you need a Sombra or a Tracer right here not not actually a somber tracer but you get what i'm saying right because if there's not a, if the enemy team can all clump and just s key out that's not that's you're going to struggle to actually finish kills so you might get nano here but i would be surprised if you if this actually wins the team fight because of the los of the rest of your team now is this all prion's fault no we agreed no. to this plan before we started right you agreed to this plan before we started mm -hmm. so how would you guys set up to make sure this plan works or how should you? Position more aggressive. Position more aggressive, yeah. right? Now, you could position more aggressive this way. That'd be better than what you're doing now. But I would love for you guys to position more aggressive here. I love, Can you imagine Zarya May Lucio pushing this here? Yeah, that'd be pretty big. It'd be awful. It'd be terrible They, they, they just for the blue team anyway, right? Can you imagine Ash taking this opportunity to take high ground right up here? Like, do you think anyone would be looking at Ash <laughs> at all at this point in time? Nah. No, Ash would be completely free. Absolutely free. So the goal here is that, that we, we, we t first off, we posture aggressively if we're going to go in aggressive, but we also posture aggressively, position well on angles. And right now I'm like, I, I'm not, this, is, this ain't it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think this is it. Yeah, I mean, it's I pre remember that. pretty predictable, okay? So you do get that initial swing because, uh, you know, just Nano Ryan, you're already in them, so obviously. But like, can you imagine, can you imagine them trying to do this play right now? With Zarya McCree, because this what is this wall stuff? Who does this wall off? If you guys are here, you know, like sure it doesn't wall off anyone. Though. It, it, it could. I mean, obviously she could wall you off here, but the wall breaks instantly. And again, you're making them work for it. You're making them have to like check their flanks and surround and react perfectly. Otherwise, look at this. Look at how low this Kree gets. Look at that. Any follow-up mm -hmm. damage from behind or above, and that McCree is dead. And even if your Ryan dies here. This it's over. Like this, this team fight is just a wash. Like this May wall is getting way too much value. Look at your, look at your, look at. Look, sorry, what? Like you're just out of the fight. You're just out of the fight. This is really a three or a four v six, and a three and a four v six with a couple of the people in that three and four doing very little. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what what would this team fight look like played optimally? Don't don't give me all the details. Just like TLDR, simplify. Uh, simply explain to me. You want to go in aggressively? What do you need? We need uh, our Ash on the high ground, and then we need the Zarya and the Lucio flanking. Sure, sure. We need aggressive position. More pressure. Yeah, exactly. We need, yeah. Is this a compositional specific feedback? No. no, no, not really. Does this apply when you're playing dive? Yeah. Does this apply when you're playing spam? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah, absolutely. If you're playing Arista Sig, you know. Echo, and you want to hold spawn, mm -hmm. put your BAP here, put your Zen Sig here, go three, two, one, annihilate them, and your Echo is like hiding up here and just goes zoink, and they're all dead. Doesn't matter what the composition is. You're gonna have to figure out the details. Like maybe you're like, oh, okay, we try putting Zen on the flank here to push aggressively, but ends up like Zen needs healing and it doesn't work out so well. You guys will figure that out, but you need to understand the fundamentals before you figure anything out. <clears throat> okay. Now you guys have no ults here. You probably track that they also have essentially no ultimates. So what should be the plan? When you don't have a plan, what is the default neutral? 
Is it overwhelm the Rhine? Overwhelm the Rhine? Well, I mean, how? What is a wall? What was the first? New, what was the first neutral you guys did in this game? What did it look like? Wall, it was wall a, with wall, anti. wall plus nade or whatever. Nade. And what it, were your DPS doing? DPS flank. flank. Take flank. flanks. So what you guys should do here is you guys should look to initiate with a wall. Maybe look for if they're holding close, look for a wall. Your Ash Coach Guns high ground looks for dynamite backline. Um, maybe you guys look for a wall here, and you know your May pushes in from a flank here or something goofy like that. But it, it needs to look. You wall. You aggressively take flanks. Or you could do it slow. But either way, that needs to be the water neutral is. So they're holding close right now. So let's see if we play around this properly. So good, so so far so good, yeah? What do we see? Ash is going up top. Okay, what else do I see? And our, our May is flanking. <laughs> May is flanking. Yep. Your wall is just as good. Wall. This is scary. This this is this, even if they land the shatter, you're making wall this off and, and shut down a lot of pop follow up. Now I'm curious if this dynamite looks a little high. Uh it does hit the bat. That's good. So let's see how this fight goes. Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I think I've spotted an error. What's how? What's the issue with this team fight right here positionally? Now, obviously, you can be like, okay, maybe our maze is a little bit too aggressive here. But what's the what's Riv, what's the issue? Uh, here? Literally inside of their team right Privs now. Privs is inside or uh, Rivs, excuse me, is inside of this team. But also, but also, who in your team is not really in a, in a very effective position? Um, Ash. Ash. How could we fix two problems with one? How could we fix it? Because because Ash dropped because she got poked out, right? Mm -hmm. I could be up top of the Ash. I could be up top of the Ash. Ash doesn't drop. You don't die. Bingo. I think my default brain is just stick with Ryan at all times, yeah. so I can speed. I mean, right, right. The, the goal the goal is is that you you unquestionably 95, 90 percent of the time need to have Ryan in your aura. You need to, and you need to be able to win necessary. Amp speed him out. Amp speed him in, and or boop their Ryan in, or boop their Ryan away. Right. That needs to be an option. But when you're on high ground, it doesn't even mean that you need to stay high ground. Right. You could be high ground here and be like, okay, I've still got my team aura, but I have to go get a boop. Right. And you and you go and you and you do what you need to do. But high ground is ironically like. It's better for you as Lucid because it allows you to be like anywhere on the battlefield at any point in time. Do you see this? You could be here, diving backline. You could be here, peeling your backline, their frontline, your frontline. You can be here at any point in time. Because the unique thing about Lucy when you compare him to other supports is that his, his range is awful, right? He has terrible range. Every ability except, I mean, really no, every ability has, has range limitations when you compare him to even Brig. Brig has armor backs that she can give at a really, really long ranges. Lucy doesn't. So, you want to position yourself, if you can, on high grounds, not just to support your Ash, but so you can be anywhere on the battlefield at any time. You don't have to be, oh, funny Astro level of wall climbing. You can just be, I position so well that I end up being where I need to be whenever I'm needed. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, you can, you can like, if you want to go in here and you want to boop these guys away from your mate, you can do that right from here. Right from there. And the same thing applied with our logic here as well. You could go in and boop and do the exact same thing that you're doing here. You're less likely to get shattered. Like how many times have you gotten shattered when you want to beat that shatter, right? How many times have you been caught in grav and then maybe, oh, I have to beat this grav even though it's just me and Ryan. Like our Ryan, maybe we didn't need beat here, but I had to beat because I got caught in grav. Or has it ever, have you ever, like, have you ever died mid beat because you were in the caught in the middle of the enemy team? Yep. Like that, this kind of stuff you can all avoid if you're positioned properly. So. <clears throat> okay all right we uh we keep going but that's something pvc you can do as well um especially if you're playing like high grounds and stuff like that is ask for support because like, like exactly what we talked about in first you're ryan zarya may Ana, lucy they're all just a bunch of monkeys they're just apes all they're doing is they're, they're, they're just there to set you up like you are the dps like like master class everything revolves around you okay um if you don't get value out of high ground here your team is just very unlikely to win the fight so you need to be asking for resources when necessary now that doesn't mean mercy beam lucio speed boost discord nano boost you know everything but here like if you if you have to drop off of a good position because you're not getting support that's something to be looking at in review does that make sense 
Yeah. Cap. Because if you ain't hitting shots, stuff ain't dying. And if you can't hit shots because you're not getting support in a good position, then that needs to be discussed. Alrighty. Oh boy. Ah oh dear. Ah oh dear. This is scary. <laughs> this is scary. Oh boy. So, okay, this has happened twice in a row, though. I don't want to just, like, laugh and move on. W what could we do against this? Because this has now happened multiple times. And to be fair, this is this is a map where this kind of crap happens all the time. Like, it doesn't matter what team you play, this kind of crap is going to happen a lot. What can we do against this? Like, and by this, I mean, uh, you know, this right here. And, you know, this right here. What can you do? <laughs> just scout. Yeah, scout. It's going to take you an extra five or six seconds, but it's worth it. Uh, I would, uh, for in this map here, I'd probably check here, i check behind, i check this area here, and then, then you're, you should be okay. Um, but just, just clear your angles. Do, do it as quickly as you can. Send your Lucio up there, whatever. Uh, just keep make sure that all the enemy team is in front of you. And remember, if you catch anybody, they lose. It's over. Like, it's just over. So high risk, high reward play that you guys are uh, letting them have by um, not doing due diligence. <sighs> all right. Uh, plan here. What, what would be the plan here optimally? Let's say there's no McCree on an angle. What would the play on be here optimally? Either kite the window and go to that side room, or we have to go through it so they can't shoot us through it. Sure. Ignore all of their ultimates for me. Let's go to here. What would be the fight? What was or what would be the fight plan here? Oh, what? Do you want to include our ultimates? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see it. Okay. Probably just sustain so we can get that 20% to grab and then grab Blizzard. Worse for me? Sure. Worse for me? Sounds good. <clears throat> So that that being said, if that if that's a good plan here, what is our mistake right now? Uh, just letting them engage onto us exactly. instead of exactly if you're like cutting until we're ready to exactly engage. if your if your plan is to farm, then this is not how you farm. Your Zarya should not be here. If your plan is to farm and you see that they were considering holding close, don't get baited. Go here, right, and just farm. They can't push you here. They can't push you here. And then if they do push you, you kite. If they don't push you, you build your grab, and then you just grab me. They can window, and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to launch my grab. Easy peasy. You kind of see what I'm saying? So if you're going to farm, farm from a more conservative location, because it doesn't even look like, it doesn't look like our plan was to build grab me, from what I'm seeing here. Uh, oh, bless. That's unfortunate. Prime's just sitting there looking pretty. Alrighty. I have to be more decisive, like once I have the grab, because I had it for a couple seconds before yep. they hit Q. And, and, and a lot of the times, planning and preparation before the fight happens helps with that a great deal. Like knowing exactly what you're looking for, knowing I'm farming it and nothing happens until I farm it, or playing slow until that happens, that helps a lot with that. Okay. What's the plan here? I think we plan to engage with Bob to let us get onto cart and then look for a big blizzard. Sure, sure. Let's see what happens. Okay. Is this a good plan? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. We froze the tanks and we're going to kill the May too, probably. Sure. I'm a fan. Force a blizzard, maybe get a kill through it. Or a, a, a beat, excuse me, and maybe get a kill through it. I'm, I'm down with it. What's the only error that I can see here? Major error. <clears throat> you guys see it? We don't have a flank, do we? You don't have a flank, but not only that, why don't you have a flank? Where is your ash? We didn't wait long enough. Yeah, your yeah. ash is in spawn. Chill. Wait three seconds, and then if your ash is sitting on main, or well, I mean, honestly, ash sitting here is, is not the end of the world, but if like if all of your team is all clumped up here and nobody's taking angles, Prime, uh, and you've given them ample time to, then that's their fault. But at this point in time, you're not giving them time to set up properly. And you can see that because this happens. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, this, this blizzard is good. This is a good blizzard. You'll probably kill them through it. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunate. <laughs> is what it is. Totally fine. It's good. Big shatter. Yep. I like it. Do we kill the carry? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. You yeah. do. <laughs> okay. Please, please. What? What? What am I? Okay. I. I will. I am begging you to do something. What am I absolutely begging you to do right now? 
have so to have high ground, ground and then have Lucio's already uh, flank. Yes. Take high grounds because I'm going to the door like a monkey again uh, yes. to ask for Nano. Yes. Yes. But you know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Okay. The stupid monkey play is to try and stuff doors. I don't think this is the plan because you're not going to be able to stop them from touching cart. This is the plan when cart is like here right because you can mm. unironically stop them from touching cart this is not the plan they're going to take a team fight and you're going to be in serious trouble so yes you are a monkey shame on you you're an idiot okay um <laughs> but the big the big deal here is that like wh where, where's my map control here why, why do i have anna and lucio and zari and ash all in cart here this is like why like no 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 yeah. absolutely not because yeah. like it just can't happen because like the goal is that okay yeah maybe they all turn attention and burn prion but like if you're going to do that like punish them from here this is your much better angle or punish them from uh here or have like a zarya lucio pincher so they all push prion on here and you and you smash them here like that's the goal not what you're doing now and the bob's fine you know ironically ironically okay, not exactly ironically but like the funny thing is that the bob is the only good position member of your team right now <laughs> <laughs> why what is bob doing He's shooting him in the back. He's shooting him in the back. Yes. He's got yes. a cross. Yes. That's the first thing. Angle. Exactly. That's the first thing, you know, the silver and gold Ash has learned about Bob is Bob is really strong because it's it's a basically a budget tracer, right? Like you throw it on the back line and it's un, like unlimited power, you know? Uh, but right now it's like, you guys are like, what is this? What is, this is how you get shattered. This is how you get, you know, fire striked, fire struck, fire stroked. Yeah, anyway, you get you get hit you get fire. I don't, I don't I don't like that last one. Yeah, I don't think um, it's fire straight. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, you're going to spawn, okay? Uh and uh I mean that was like an inch away from killing you. Can we just admire this right here? I'm gonna admire yeah, I'm gonna see how close this was. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Too, so like, oh, <laughs> that would have been delightful. But yeah, this is obviously like Lucio. Usually, Lucio is a feeder. We hate this kid. But you know, like, I mean, why? Why is there? Why is my Zarya here? Why is my Ash just now? Like, why is my Ash coach gunning back and not coach gunning up? You know? And look at your Ryan. Like, you look at your Bob and your Ryan. Your Bob and Ryan are like in there. Like, obviously, Prime was, was stuffing, which isn't good. But like, why? Like, why? Do not give them the opportunity to clutch. You're going to get. Hmm. <laughs> and, okay, and to be honest, to be very clear, just the, the fact that more people weren't shattered is not skill. This is complete luck. Like we're picking ribs, but you guys are just lucky. Like ribs is just a punching bag, but the rest of you guys are just as bad. I just want to clarify that. <laughs> but your Bob is like I, again. You, you, Bob. Yeah, you don't take my word for it. Like look at Bob. Look at what Bob is doing right now. Look at Bob. 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 Bob's like hard carrying. Bob was hard carrying. Man. While he was high nooning. Yeah. And made the May focus on the entire fight. NPC MVP for an NPC team. Okay. Um, basically, <laughs> like you guys are getting you're getting hard carrying. Right okay. So I mean, I, it's pretty clear. So we we've we've been a little bit all over the place here, but like let, let's let's be let's pull something very very simple from it. Let's pull a couple of things, one at a time. What do you guys think? What are some what are some things that we talked about? Let's uh, take more flanks, high ground maneuvers, yeah. and um, talk more about what we're doing. Yeah, Prion needs to only... communicate oh, with us ahead. as much as we communicate with yep. him to, like, when we can tell him he's being an idiot, or sure. he can tell us we're being idiots by not being with him. Sure. You know? Not only do we need to take more flanks, we don't support PVC enough to take flanks. Sure. I think that's 100% right. Yeah? Yep. Well, it certainly looks like it. Like we talked about this here. It's like let me, let me be very clear. So when I whenever I coach this, I, I talk a lot about angles and flanks and stuff like that. There are bad angles and there are bad flanks. There are times when you might go on an angle and you're just gonna feed because you're an idiot. You're a complete moron. Like you shouldn't be there. What are you doing, right? However, it's the, the game of Overwatch, really, especially in mirror compositions, um, is about finding what's a good angle, what's a good flank, and what's a bad angle, what's a bad flank. And if you're not thinking about that and like like limit testing it like that's an abuse of like people abuse that term all the time but if you're not actually actually limit testing that and practicing it and trying to figure it out then you're not going to ever play the meta properly like that was this was this was the difference between bad and goats teams if they had good zarya flanks and good uh diva angles they would be a good goats team but if they all stacked to six and just w key four hit it down like the funny goats composition then they were they would they got rolled shock destroyed people by having sinatra on high ground you know what I'm saying? That's just how you play that comp. It doesn't matter what the composition is, how you play it. So you guys are talking about like not supporting PVC well enough. And I think for you guys, this is going to be something, this is not, okay, we learned something today. We'll apply it for the next couple of weeks, meta changes, we move on. No, this is something that you guys are going to continually have to revisit over and over again. 
what can we do about their angles? How can we set up ours? Was that too greedy? Are my feeding? Who should be angling this composition? And those questions need to be answered for you to play the meta right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It's that. And then the, and then the other thing is is what? Because I think you're, you and I are on the The other page. thing that I noticed was we progressively become a blob in fights. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So work on that. Um, but yeah, simplicity is key here. Like don't, don't, like we talked a lot about like little micro details for like, you know, ribs. We talked about uh, micro details about like the on and aid and like positioning as prion. Uh, and then uh, some of the stuff with, like the Zarya bubbles and then PVC's positioning and, um, you know, May walls and stuff like that. But like, let, let you guys as individuals work on that. You don't need to worry about your teammates working on that. Um, you as a team need to be focusing on just really basic stuff. And, and, and right now you have seen how, like you've seen good examples, you've seen bad examples. And so all, all you need to do is you don't, don't focus on the mistakes, focus on when and where it felt good and when it was set up properly and, and do that again. Envision the way it's supposed to be played and mirror that. You kind of see what I'm saying? Like don't say, guys, stop clumping. Instead say, guys, take angles. Make it a positive direction and vision of how it should supposed to be and then just go do it. And that's all you need to worry about. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, this was a lot of fun. And now we ask questions. We have like 10 minutes. We can do a little longer if necessary. You guys have any questions about this comp, this meta, heroes, Overwatch, life? Are you going to ever get a girlfriend? I definitely know the answer to that one. Um, anything that you guys, are, you guys want input on? No rush. Uh, yeah, so earlier in the... In the uh stream like you yep. said zarya is worse than diva why like should sure. we have been playing zarya there would we, i mean diva like would we have won <clears throat> so <after>? like <clears throat> zarya is only worse than diva when you're playing on a map where there's like relevant high runs zarya is only worse than diva if you have a uh very good diva player zarya is only worse than diva if you know exactly how to play the diva in that composition let me be very clear. Diva is not better than Zarya unless you're min maxing things and you're like 4.6 and you have a good Diva player. You guys are not 4.6. You guys are good, but you're not that good. And you may or may not have a very, very confident Diva player. So keep playing oh, Zarya. We, uh, oh, yeah. we, we do have a pretty good Diva player. Eisendrak plays a lot of Diva. Okay. So the, the reason the reason that at, at least pros consider Diva to be a little better than Zarya, at least from our understanding of the composition right now, that might change is because D.Va provides more win conditions around ult play, windows, uh, nades, gravs, blizzards, uh, fire strikes, things like that, like the window fire strike kind of that crap, uh, high noons. D.Va all provides counters to those uh, ultimates. Zarya does not. Zarya bubbles can be used for blizzard, but obviously it means that you're, you're sacrificing that at charge. Um, and then D.Va can outvalue or out pressure uh, a Zarya if she's positioned on high ground or on an angle. Right. Think about Diva. What does Diva have that Zarya does not? What's the big thing that Diva has that Zarya does not? Boosters. And defense boosters. Matrix. Boosters and Matrix. Exactly. So like the big thing is is the ability to position yourself anywhere on high ground. So we talked about like how oh get your Ash on high ground. Well get your Diva on high ground too. Shoot. Start shooting the Rhine in the back. Start putting pressure on backline. And remember, even if you're not, like, even if they, are they going to ignore you on high ground most of the time as Diva? No. No, they're going to start shooting you. Are you okay with that? Yeah. yeah, you're totally yeah. fine with that. If they're not shooting, if, if, if you were set up around where your team, obviously don't position too far forward because then they can shoot you and you have to run away and then the fight starts. But if mid fight, you take a high ground angle and they start shooting you, you flash your matrix, you eat anything and everything that you want, and your Ryan and your team are taking no damage. They're all shooting you and you can just observe it. And that is the biggest thing that Diva can do. She could put up decent pressure on high ground on backline or squishies. And she can just like basically just absorb damage, um, and that's like the, 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 like with Zarya, you're a little bit you like you angle sometimes, and like you can take soft angles, and you can use high ground. Diva, that is literally everything that she does. Um, the one other thing that Diva does, uh, and Diva does well, um, is that she also denies. Who does she deny? Remember we talked about the neutral. And the neutral with yes, the yes, she punishes the Cree for splitting too far. That's what she does. She basically, she's a seat buckle. Basically like, hey, you're, you're, well, actually that's the opposite of seat buckle. It's a, it's a burglar alarm, right? It's like you get a little too far off, Diva can solo you, basically. Hey, Kree's in the flank. We landed a, our McCree landed a body shot on him. He's like 150 HP. Diva lights him up. He's dead. So you are also, you use off angles and you deny their off angles from getting value at the same time. 
Does that make sense? And sorry, it's just not as good at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of a lot of things like that, um, but it, it requires you to play it correctly. I would say the Zarya composition is easier because it's just kind of easier just to hold W mouse one and, and, and Diva, it's easier to feed. Um, but if you play it properly at the pro level, Diva is slightly better. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Could we um sure. <laughs> could we touch on <laughs> could we touch on Ana versus BAP yep. in this comp, maybe? Yep. How about you guys tell me what the difference is and why uh, BAP is more popular? Immortality field. Immortality field. Okay. Yeah, you can jump over the May wall and throw a lamp. Okay, that's a big one. What else? All of his healing is AoE. Yep, all of his healing is AoE. Easier to heal with BAP than it is with Ana. Why else? Compare their ultimates. Window why why, why Window. do you think why do you think nano is harder to get value out of in this composition? Boop, stun, freeze, shatter. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, just finished. boop, stun, freeze, speed. Yep. That's all you need to know. So, again, <clears throat> you guys found just fine value out of your nano. You got a lot of value out of your nano, and you got some decent nades as well. Um, but especially when you bring a diva into the field, Ana's not having a good time. Yep. Because you, you, you remove sleep and nade, essentially. Not, not completely, but you make it harder to find value with those cooldowns. Bap, obviously, you can eat Bap heals, but he's, not, he's less concerned about that. Um, and then, you know, Nano is just not a great ult in this meta. Like, it, it's not bad. It, it's solid, but it's 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 very 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 inconsistent. It's not like oh, you Nano monkey just go in three two one Nano fire. It's not. It's it's like, it's it's difficult to get value out of uh, Nano in here if it's played properly. You guys crushed it. Um, but yeah, that that's again the logic. Play to your strengths, guys. Play to your strengths, but definitely be aware of the weaknesses of Ana. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, again, you guys, you guys kind of just, <laughs> you just nailed it right there. So you don't, I don't know, even know why I'm here, like ever. This, you guys just needed to do this review by yourself. You know, figured it all the same. <laughs> all right, any other questions, guys? We got about five more minutes. Uh, if not, what maps is Farah good on? Okay, you tell me. What is Farah good at? Controlling space. Controlling yeah, space. Like <clears throat> So, <clears throat> it's spamming. <clears throat> spamming. Like, Coops the people. <clears throat> what is Farah weak against? Hit scans. Hit scans. Hit scan. What do hit scans need you know, to be able to pressure Farah? High ground. And? High ground, a lot of open space. Open space, you just nailed it right there. Very little pressure as well. Okay, so Farah would like what to abuse against hit scans? Corners. Corners, cover. Yeah. cover. Yes. Farah is good on maps with high ceilings, basically air ceilings, where you can get good height. Um, especially if this experimental patch goes live where she's able to hover a little bit easier and she likes cover <clears throat> if you can abuse a choke and can use cover while doing it she will crush hit scans farah is never played on junker town first why <laughs> because you're still wide open yeah, it's completely it's wide open yeah. oh. yeah. farah is played very often on leashing tower night market which is the one where people tp to point you guys know what the one i'm talking uh, about why yeah. yep a lot of there's just walls there. everywhere around the point. Yeah. Yeah. All, shoot through windows. If there's open spots of the map, but around point, there's a lot of cover. And it's very difficult to get a good beat on Farah. So that's generally where you see Farah. Anywhere where there's cover um, and where you can have a choke to spam, uh, and there's a high ceiling. Those are the three things you look for. Or if you're Yez and, you know, the Yezna, then you just play Farah wherever. <clears throat> One trick hit to 4.7. <sighs> Any other questions? Yeah, I have one. Sure. Um, about about playing Ryan into May, mm -hmm. is there anything that like I personally can get better at to stop myself from getting walled, <clears throat> or is it or is it like a I don't know. Well, here's the thing with the wall. You're going to get walled. It's just going to happen 24-7. You can, though, uh, it's going to happen. It's, remember, like, with the new Reinhardt especially and with the new freeze, it's actually pretty hard to kill a Reinhardt. It's pretty hard to freeze a Reinhardt. Uh, this freeze animation is as slower than it used to be. Um, in other words, it takes more freeze to get you there, a little bit longer. Um, and you have, or you're beefier. Basically, you move faster with while you're shielding the old Reinhardt. You have 50 more armor. Um, and if your team is playing properly and taking angles, they're, they'll see you get walled and like, okay, well, we're just going to move around it and take an angle and shoot them anyway. And so you're just kind of a punching bag in that aspect. Um, the one little tip, so, so first off, don't worry too much about it. The only thing that a Reinhardt can do, especially if you're a big calmer in your team, is you can bait walls. You can make, make sure you have your angle set up. And guys, I'm going to walk through this choke and just S key up instantly and try and bait wall. Do you guys remember on end of second where we went for a wall and the Reinhardt was ended up on top of the wall? 
Yeah. I don't know yeah. if he did it on purpose, but that's baiting a wall. You W key out, bait the mate to wall, but then you instantly S key like as she's in the animation of walling and she misses it and just catches like you just ride it up. That's one thing you can do as Reinhardt is bait a wall. And that's actually pretty big. That's especially important on really nasty chokes. So like um like that choke there, actually where he baited the wall, that's a really good one to, place to do it. Uh King's Row first is really good. Uh Li Zhang Tower Control Center. There's a couple of ones where you can bait a wall, but different places like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? We got time for about one more. Uh, can you actually predict if I'll get a girlfriend or not? Uh, what hero do you play? Who? Baptiste and Anna. Nah, uh, he's a mercy player. Uh, Don't listen to him. Cap. He's a mercy player. <laughs> nah, uh, he's a mercy player. Don't listen to him. Dude, yeah, you try to force me to play mercy. Yeah, I, I think I think your chances are okay. So I'm I'm okay. I'm an Anna main. So obviously, uh, I'm, I'm you obviously oh, yeah. obviously you get one. So <clears throat> and Bap, okay. even Bap. Yeah. I mean, everybody. So not everybody, but some people hate Bap. But you know, Bap is over. I mean, you could be worse. You could could be a brig player. You know, or like. Wait, am I the only one on this team that has a girlfriend? The Ryan player? No, I do. <laughs> oh okay oh so it's just tank players speaking, speaking all right right there you go okay makes sense ryan and Zari yeah, especially <clears throat> okay yeah yes. the fucking well thanks military lesbian yeah thanks for having me on i appreciate it uh if you guys ever have any questions just feel free to dm me i'll get back to you it won't be a big deal but uh thanks yeah. for having me on that was a lot of fun hopefully that answered some questions and like i guess my last challenge is like take what you've learned today simplify it and go train it and remember it's not meta specific um, you guys have to like step up individually to, to be able to figure this stuff out. Cause the meta shifts tomorrow, a lot of this stuff is, is going to be different and you guys gonna have to figure out how it applies. Make sense. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks yeah. so much for helping us out. Yeah. No yeah, worries. Thank you. thank you guys again for having me. Have a good one boys. Yeah. You too.